Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Luke again. This time we're in chapter 21, verse 36. Luke chapter 21, verse 36. Praise the Lord. And Jesus said, watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Amen. Praise the Lord. So rather than just repeat it, we want to know what about what are these things? So we're going to back up a little bit. We're going to go to verses 7 through 11 and skip about 21 verses, but I encourage you to read it all. But for the sake of time, we're just going to get some context here. So they asked him, saying, teacher, but when will these things be? And what sign will there be when these things are about to take place? Talking about the end times. And he said, take heed that you do not be deceived, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he. And the time has drawn near, therefore do not go after them. But when you hear of wars and commotions, do not be terrified, for these things must come to pass first, but the end will not come immediately. Then he said to them, nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be great earthquakes in various places and famines and pestilences. And there will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven. Amen. Does it sound a little bit like the days we live in today? So we then we go forward. Assuredly, we pick it up in verse 32. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation, this generation will by no means pass away till all things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. But take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and cares of this life, and that day come upon you unexpectedly. For it will come as a snare on all those who dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch, therefore, and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Amen. Praise the Lord. I can't tell you how many years I would read things like this and feel so, it would feel so ominous and I'd be so fearful that I'd better get it right and all that kind of stuff. But the key in this verse is who, that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things. What does that mean to be counted worthy? Does that mean that I got to be good? I got to be better or not? What he said, watch and pray in our verse. Where else did he say, watch and pray? Matthew chapter 26, verses 40 through 43. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping and said to Peter, what? Could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray lest you enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again, a second time he went away and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if this cup cannot pass away from me until I dr unless I drink it, your will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. So he told them to watch and pray, and they did. They fell asleep anyway. So God is telling us today to watch for that last day so we'd be worthy, watch and pray. And what do you think is going to happen if we're going to try to do it on our own strength? The exact same thing that happened to the disciples when they tried to do it on their own strength. They fell asleep. And we can try to be diligent and ready and all that. And all we're going to do is be telling God that we don't trust him. We're going to do it on our own strength and we're going to fail. So how are we counted worthy then? How can we stand before the Lord? Jude, uh, verse 24, now to him who is able to keep, that's a capital H right there, to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and present you falsely, faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Again, it's about faith. The people who left Egypt didn't have the faith that he could bring them into the promised land and they didn't enter. It's not because they were strong enough or anything else. They didn't they they were afraid. And we can see this word about the end times today, and we can start worrying about being ready 
and we got to gird ourselves and not do the wrong thing and all that kind of stuff. And all it's going to do is cause us to fail. It is faith in the one who is able to keep us from stumbling and present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. It's faith in him that's going to make it all count us worthy, as a matter of fact, to escape everything, to be counted worthy, to be in, to stand before him. It's faith in him. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this word today. We are in the end times. There's no question about it. And our end times could be in a moment, uh, but it could be also with the world. And so the way to be ready is to be trusting in you. But Lord, we believe. We ask you to help our unbelief. Help us find rest in you. Even now, your word says to be diligent to enter your rest. Because if we're in your rest, our lamps will be full. We will be prepared because we're trusting you to prepare us. And we'll also be used by you in a glorious way. And so... You're the author and finisher of our faith, Lord. We ask you to give us that faith today so that we don't need to worry about these things. We can rest knowing that you got the plan and you're going to finish it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord. Amen.